Hello everybody and welcome back to Royalty Soaps. My name is Kinney and I'm one of the compounders or creators here at Royalty Soaps. You may have seen me in some of my previous videos where I made my own designs. And this video will be no different. I have designed a soap for our garden theme this month. And one of the first things that ever came to my mind whenever I thought of garden was bumblebees. Them buzzing around and pollinating plants, it just reminds me of my mother's garden every single time. And they're so colorful and fun and I just thought, why not make a soap? I, ca I catch myself saying that for a few different things now. I'll look around and I'll see something pretty or I'll see something that I like and then I'm like, maybe I could make a soap of that. Some of you may have been given a little bit of a preview on the soap that I was going to make on my Instagram at the Earl of Suds, which you can of course follow on Instagram. And if you want updates on whenever we release new videos or whenever our release day is, you could also follow Royalty Soaps. And for Katie's life stuff, she has her own personal Instagram. Instagram as well. But enough of that. Let's get into the soap making. So this is the design that we're going to be going for. Like I said, it is a bumblebee soap. So we have five entirely different layers. Well, not entirely different. They're just two colors, but there are five whole layers, I should say, because I'm not used to uh, doing so many layers. So we'll see how it goes. And up top, we have two tone piping. I'm going to use uh, different micas to get two different looks. And then on top, we're going to have have a delicious looking honeycomb. All right, so the first thing we're going to be doing is blending up our oils and our lye water solution. And while doing that, you can uh, peep my new stick blender that I'm going to be using for filming. Very fancy having your own. No more pink blender for me. And I'm just going to blend this until it's just past emulsion. Got a scrapey scrapey off our blender head, or whippity wipity, as I should say. So, like you saw in the design, there's going to be five different colors. So I'm going to split this off into five different little containers. There's so many of them. So I have split off our soap into five different containers and I am just going to pull four of them aside and I'm going to deal with them one by one because it's layers and I don't need it to accelerate. So this first layer is going to be a lovely black color and I am using black oxide. I'm just going to blend that in. Nice and liquidy. That's a good sign. A lovely black color. Oops. Now we're going to add in the fragrance oil to this layer. So the fragrance we will be using today is by Nature's Garden and it is called Honeysuckle. So let's give it a little sample. Ooh, oh. So that is a lot more flowery than I thought. I like that a lot. This totally fits with the garden vibes. This is very nice. Let me just blend in the fragrance real quick. So now I will grab my brambleberry molds and we will pour down the first layer. Trying to make them as even as possible, which is a little bit tricky because it's such a thin line. We've got to scrapey scrapey out our container. I'm just gonna wiggle it back and forth just to make it nice and straight. So now I'm gonna have to wait for this layer to harden and I'm gonna mix up the next color and the next color and the next color and the next color and just pour them on top of each other whenever they are more solid. But it's gonna be pretty much the same thing. So we're just gonna speed past it with some movie magic. Oh, 
well, haha, we did it. Oh my gosh, I won't lie. I was worried while I was doing those five layers. It has been so long since I have done a layered soap. I don't know if anybody remembers, but Katie made like a mermaid treasure soap and she kind of had me do it. Not a trial, but she did kind of say, if you do well, then maybe we could move you along in soap making. But these five layers, I mean, I think that they did great. So we have got all the layers put down. Now it is time to mix up our piping. All right, so we have our piping bag ready. As you can see, we have the two different tones. We have true yellow and yellow oxide, which I think this is gonna make a really fun, very polleny top. It looks kind of like pollen. Ooh, I really like how this looks. It's really smooth. So some of our two-tone pipings that we do, they end up being really harsh edges. And it's really fun to see like the really hard colors kind of just fighting at one another. It makes for a really interesting top. But this one looks a little bit more like maybe a gradient. So as I said earlier, of course, this is the garden month and I wanna do something garden related, but also something that was very striking. And since it's garden, it kind of reminds me of my mom's garden. We would go out into her garden and help with the vegetables and things like that. She had flowers, but of course us kids wanted to focus on getting all of the tasty treats. So as we were out in the garden, we started to notice that there was a little bumblebee, or well, it was a big bumblebee, that just loved to come visit us and buzz around our heads and take a look at our plants and make sure we were growing everything right. And of course at first, the kids that saw the bumblebee were very afraid. And I don't know if you, you know the difference between a bumblebee. Bumblebees are a good bit bigger than normal bees and they do not sting you. Now they can sting you, but they don't. They're very passive, they're very sweet. And also, I believe that they kill wasps. And wasps are horrible stinging flying creatures that hurt so much. So the sweet bumblebees should be protected. And they're so big and fat and goofy. And they seem so heavy. I think that I read somewhere that like scientifically their wings are too small to support how much weight they're flying around and they don't really know how they do it but you know it's just a magical bumblebee a very worthy insect to have a soap based after ah my mother has always had a garden no matter what house we lived in no matter if we were renting or if we were just staying for a few years or if we had really set down roots there was always a garden with beautiful flowers and my mom was always talking to my grandma about all of these exciting plants that they could share and they're always saying crazy words that I don't understand talking about the family of plants and oh let me give you a stem of this and you can get a leaf of that and then we can grow our own my mother has a special connection to plants I think it gives her a wonderful solace away from the loud me myself am not so much of a gardener but I do have a adorable little bonsai tree. Maybe I will post pictures on my Instagram. Uh, plug, 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 go to my Instagram, blah, blah, blah. Uh, real talk, y'all. I just wanted to just thank everybody so much for watching these videos and for supporting us by buying our soap. I am just out here on my sister's property at 8.30 p.m. just hanging out with y'all and making beautiful colors and making a cool artistic soap. I just feel so blessed to be able to do this so I thank of course Katie for <laughs> setting up this whole channel but thank you all so much for supporting us it's so much fun to do what we do and we love to do it Ooh, those tops look very fun it is so gradient very nice so now we're going to put on some sparkle sunshine fairy dust by mad micas so I want to put this down before I put the in bed just to give this kind of a sparkle on top I know it's some of my soaps, uh, or my first two, I didn't put any sparkles on top and people were like, oh my gosh, Katie did not tell him to put on sparkles like she was supposed to. Guys, trust me, I love the sparkles. I just really wanted those designs to look that way, I'm sorry, but I promise that I will put sparkles on things. So now we have these very cool honeycomb in beds that Shelly made for me, and poor Shelly, she had to go through like six different color iterations until she found the one that I liked. I 
love it so much. They look like little honey biscuits, and there's so much detail in them. So I think I just want to kind of put them in the side here, kind of like a cookie. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. Seeing the name of this fragrance oil, which is Honeysuckle, reminded me of our family friends that Katie and I have known since birth, and their house, we would go over to it, and over by their fence, they would have honeysuckles, and we would go over there, and we would pluck, I don't even know what part it is, I should have taken botany, but I did not. But we like pulled these little stem things out of the flower, <laughs> it's a wonderful description, and then you would suck on them, and they tasted delicious. Delicious, kind of like a low-key honey. Flip these around so I can access it easier. But that's one of the things that I think of whenever I think of summertime, is just going over to their house and plucking honeysuckles and just sucking on them. And we loved it so much that whenever they tragically moved from that house, then they actually replanted some more honeysuckles. So summers were never boring. Playing out in the creek, sucking on honeysuckles, that was my childhood. Honestly, these embeds look so good that I want to take a bite out of it just to make sure that it's not real honey. I'm just sitting here, since Katie's not here, I have to think about these things. I'm like, oh, do I wanna put on anything else? Um, hmm, no. So now we are done with the piping. Oh, you guys, I love these so much. Just look at those delicious embeds on top, and it's so sparkly and honey-like. So we are gonna wait 18 to 24 hours, and then we're gonna come back and cut these bars after this quick commercial break. Whoosh. Whoosh. So we are back to cut the bumblebee soap and uh, spoiler alert, the middle's gonna look amazing because you can see it on the sides already. Here, let me flip it over the side so that we can cut it and just look at that. So let's line up the cutter with the honeycomb embeds. Make sure that we don't chop any off. Now we will push down gently. And let's take a look at the middle soap here. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very nice. I think that this soap benefits a lot from being simpler on the top just because it's inside layers. They're just a very loud color and there's so many layers that I think that anything else on the top might make it look a little too busy. I love that honeycomb embed and then the body. Oh, and the two-tone piping looks really cool too. It's just a subtle addition. So, as a question of the day, I wanted to ask, since I'm gonna be doing videos on the channel, I just wanted to ask if you would rather see uh, more relaxing videos or more funny videos. Cause I totally understand that lots of people watch these videos to relax and to just soak in the positive vibes that Katie's always putting out on the channel. And I don't ever want humor to be getting in the way of y'all's relaxation. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, maybe you could go watch the gnome soap again. We had a lot of fun making that soap, but I understand if the editing was maybe a little bit abrasive for people that are trying to just relax. It's hard to fall asleep to uh, Caleb screaming at the top of his lungs. So please vote on this question of the day by clicking the I in the upper right hand corner. We will be looking at these. This is an important question. Oh, ho, 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 I love how that turned out so much. I was so pleased and genuinely uh, surprised that the layers worked out because it had been so long, but it all turned out perfect. So I'm just so pleased. This soap is part of our garden collection, which will go up on June 3rd over at royaltysoaps.com, so be sure to set your calendars and your alarms. Though I do hope that we made enough so that everybody that wants a bumblebee can get one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really appreciate your support. If you love this video, you could leave a like. If you want to see more content, you could subscribe to Royalty Soaps. I already mentioned all that Instagram fiddle-faddle. Look at his hair. Goodness. I apologize for my hair being a mess. As we always say at the end of our videos, do something that's fun for you that will make you happy. Whether it is walking around your house and giving it just a quick tidy. Set yourself a timer. Don't let it go too long because we all know that we can get into that cleaning and then you just don't want to stop. Don't try to clean everything perfectly. Just a quick tidy. Or, on the other side of the spectrum, you could sit down in your most comfortable place in your house and watch an episode of your favorite show. But whatever you choose to do, thank you so much for watching and you have a royal day. Yeah. <laughs>